Hello everyone. In this video, I'll be demonstrating a division sum where a five-digit number is being divided by a one-digit divisor. Okay, so the number is thirty-eight thousand nine hundred and twenty-five being divided by four. So as we know that we have this as our units place of the answer. Similarly, we need to have another units place for the question numbers number or the question set. So I'll consider this as the units place of the question set. That is the number that is to be divided. So a five-digit number is to be placed such that it ends on this rod. The units place ends on this rod. So it's a five-digit number. So it will start from here. Three, eight, nine, two, five. Okay, thirty-eight thousand nine hundred twenty-five. It doesn't matter uh, even if it overflows into the answer section here because. as we progress with the division this initial digit will start vanishing and we'll have space for the answer to appear on these rods okay so let's start with the procedure it's uh, divided by 4 so we'll start with the first digit this digit is 3 smaller than our divisor 4 so we'll move to the next rod now we'll look at the number like 38 38 so 38 for 38 will now recite the table of 4 get as close to 38 as possible so 9 times 4 is 36 that is the closest okay so 9 times 4 is 36 so we'll have to take 9 on the answer set but on which rod now this particular rod is the fourth rod for the question set first second third fourth this is the fourth rod for the question set so we'll have to take 9 on the fourth rod of the answer set now this is the first rod of the answer set so first second third fourth this is the fourth rod of the answer set so i'll take 9 on this rod and then subtract 36 from this 38 so 30 and 6 so the first step is done moving to the next rod now we'll look at this number as 29 okay not just 9 This number is 29. So for 29, that in the table of four, the nearest number is 28, which is seven times four. Okay, so seven times four is 28. Now, where will we take seven on the answer set? This is being the third rod of the question set. The uh, seven will be taken on the third rod of the answer set. Okay, so I take seven here and then subtract 27 from this. So 28 uh, is subtracted. now moving to the next rod which is 12 now the number in front of us is 12 up to this rod okay so 1 and 2 this 12 so in the table of 4 3 times 4 is 12 okay so we'll have to take 3 on the respective rod of the answer set this is the second rod of the question set so the 3 will be taken on the second rod of the answer set okay so 3 is take, taken here and then we'll subtract 12 from this the entire number is gone and uh, now we move to the last digit which is 5 now for 5 1 times 4 can be subtracted from this okay so i'll take 1 on the units place this this is a units place of the question set so the 1 will be taken on the units place of the answer set so 1 is taken and we'll subtract 4 from this so plus 1 minus 5 now Uh, if we we are okay with the remainder answer, this is the final answer that we have, where it is nine seven three one with the remainder one. But if we are looking for a decimal answer, we'll continue this same procedure for a couple of more steps. Okay. Now we'll move one rod to the right, and now we'll look at the number as ten. This one, and th there is nothing on this rod, so it's a zero here. So we'll look at this number as ten. From ten, from the table of four, the nearest number is eight. That can be subtracted from ten. Okay, so two times four is eight. So I'll take two on the respective rod. Now this is the uh, one rod next to the units place. So one rod next to the units place on the answer set is this. So I'll take two here and subtract eight from this ten. Okay, so for subtracting eight, I'll do plus two and minus ten. Okay. now again moving one rod to the right now we'll look at this number as 20 2 here and 0 on this rod so from 20 uh, from the table of 4 5 times 4 is 20 so i will have to take answer on the respective rod of the answer set okay so this being the second rod after the units place i'll take answer on the second rod after the units place of the answer set so i'll take 5 here and subtract this 20 now the entire a uh, question set or the question uh, number is complete is gone and we have the final answer which is 9731.2 okay 
two five. Okay, this is the units place. So remember, after this units place digit, we have to place a decimal point. So the answer is nine thousand seven hundred and thirty one point two five. This is our final answer.